Hi Dan. Today we are talking about the second installment of the Harry Potter series, Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets. This is one of my favorite, but it was not one of my favorite while I was reading it. After I finished all seven books, this became one of my favorites. And the reason it became one of my favorites is you can see the links to the seventh book and how much J.K. Rowling put in with connecting it and making sure everything makes sense in the end. And Daniel, my tea is ready. Can can you hear the kettle? I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go fix the tea now. I'll be right back. Dan, there is a part in this video where I'm going to have to ask you to please stop watching. I hope you do not take offense to this. We, but. As soon as you finish the seventh Harry Potter book, you can come back and watch. First, I'm going to talk about some of my favorite things from the second book. I love the Dursleys. I know that's weird, they're horrible people, but I love the Dursleys because I think they're so funny. And the way that they react to magic, I think they are amazing characters. And I love the way that J.K. Rowling even goes about characterizing small things like the mandrakes and how we go through everything that they go through even though they are such a small detail. We see them as babies. We hear about them all pimply and getting moody and secretive. We hear about them throwing a huge party in Greenhouse 3. And, and now Dan and anybody who has not read the entire Harry Potter series, I have to ask you to stop watching. I am sorry. I want to talk about Tom Riddle's diary. I love, 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 love how the diary seems sort of innocent. Like this is the only thing that the diary does. I mean, yeah, it takes Ginny and pretty much almost kills her. but. You don't think you're going to hear from the diary again. And then you get all this whole tale with the horcruxes and just the way J.K. Rowling's mind works. I just love seeing the connections as early as the first and second book to what we're going to hear in the sixth and the seventh and coming back to the Chamber of Secrets and getting the Basilisk Fang to destroy other horcruxes and all of that. It's just so amazing to me and I love it so much. And that is why the second becomes one of my favorite books. I really can't put them in order of favorite to least favorite, but if I were to, this would be in my top three. Because I just love the connections that J.K. Rowling puts, not only in this book, but in every book. Carly, stop crying. Shush. Come here. Come here. <laughs> what are you doing? What are you doing? Huh? Huh? You're cute. And so and I want to get you guys more involved. So if you guys are reading along with us, comment. Tell us what you think is your favorite part of the book and talk about some of the connections or whatever you want to talk about because I would really like hearing some more from you guys and Harry Potter is such an amazing thing in most of our lives so comment if you want.